Hey guys, I promised you yesterday that I would record my steps that I take for searching for tax assessor's office. So first of all, I'm going to start with Buffalo. So I go City of Buffalo tax assessor. Okay. And then it says assessment taxation department. Click it. Now, on here also, sorry about that, on here also say make property tax payments. Look over on the side. You want to look at all this stuff. See this right here where it says in rim? That's our foreclosure list. And that's the one from last year because, of course, the ones from this year aren't out yet. So you want to go to, this is just gives you the phone numbers and things like that for the tax office. But then I can click on this seal, takes me to the main page, and right here it says property information. So I click on this for the property information. It takes me to a place called ORS. A lot of people, a lot of cities, a lot of municipalities have ORS. So that's what you want to look at. Now, I want to go to Alma Street. That's one of the streets I was looking at yesterday. So see here, it gives me every address on the street. Now, I can't remember the address of the one that I was looking at, so I'm just going to pick one and start to skip it. And I'm going to show you guys how I do the skip trace as well. So let's just look at one. Okay, we'll do 52. So now when you pull this up, this gives you a picture of the house. It won't always have a picture of the house, but it gives me a picture of the house. Right here, it tells me it's only assessed at 45000 The land is assessed at sixty nine. So the taxable income is 45000 That's important because that's how much they're being charged. That's only what they're being taxed on, $45,000. I told you guys yesterday, I was riding around in this neighborhood, that the taxes, these houses were cheap. So... Then if you go to property description, it's a one family house. Over here it'll tell you his one and a half stories. It'll tell you how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, how many kitchens. This one only has two bedrooms. So they say, I guarantee you there's a third bedroom somewhere in there. It's saying it has two bathrooms. One might be a half bath somewhere and it has one full kitchen. No basement. No basement is important. That's what, that means it's a crawl space basement. Then you go down here and it says last property sale. Notice this is blank. Usually it's full. Full of information. Then when I go down here to owner information, Dorothy Brown is the owner. She lives in the house because the tax that's where the tax record is going to. Now, she gets a star program tax rebate, so that's probably why everything else is in here. So she's been living in this house forever. Which means either one, she's not going to sell, or two, she is ready to sell. So then what I do is I go over here and I put in true, because you know, guys know I love my true people search. Truepeoplesearch.com, great. Now, everybody else is going to do it different ways. You're going to pull up a name, you're going to do it by phone number, I do it by address. Okay, so now this is 52 Alma in Buffalo, New York. And I was in 14215 yesterday, remember that? Dorothy Brown is 75. She lives in Buffalo. View the details. We already know who owns the house. These are all her phone numbers. I guarantee you if I call any of these numbers, she's going to live there. She's going to answer. She's 75 years old. She probably doesn't even have a cell phone. She probably still has the wireless. 863-8028 might still be her phone number. So these that's how you call and search. You search by address. Don't search by name. Because then when you search by address, if I go back, this Henry Brown might be her husband or ex-husband. George Brown might be a relative as well. So you want to keep call you want to call those people. You don't want to call all the other numbers. Because if I just put her name in here, and what was her name again? Dorothy Brown. I should be able to remember this. But y'all know I have headaches. So yeah, Dorothy Brown. 
But if I go in here and I put her name in, just her name, and I go Dorothy Brown. You guys are going Dorothy Brown in Buffalo, New York, 14215. How many Dorothy Browns are going to come up? Look at that. Always search by the reverse address. All right? That's my tip for today, and I'm sticking with it. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you later.